This is Fabian staying in the Big Babu hut. He has been volunteering for three weeks and three days and we will be leaving on Sunday in two days. So Fabian, you built this with Mato, yes. this uh, training rack. The easy part was to get the, the bamboo from the bamboo forest. <laughs> I think that was the easiest and the most fun part. Okay. The, mo the most difficult part, the scariest part, was this one. Where we tried to make the horse, but then Greg had to help us because we were both scared of the machine. <laughs> but you used a lot of time also afterwards, after we made the holes, to expand the hole, right? Yes, because they just didn't fit inside, because mm. the problem is nothing is straight here. So everything is like a little bit curvy, so it has to kind of like fit perfect and it was really difficult to get it inside, mm. that it will be like stable, to somehow make it, somehow make it stable. So we, we did some with the diagonals and then with the small ones. That one was kind of like really helpful because it just those four pillars, just those four diagonals on the top made it like really stable already. And then those two made it safe. Otherwise, after finishing this stuff, it was just great to have it here. And also it has been um, surface burnt with the blowtorch to make it more resistant to all the elements, including the bugs and stuff like that. The outdoor shower with the cool door and the cool water thing. What do you think about the outdoors? I love it. It's perfect. Perfect. It's just, especially after, when you go inside after the work in the morning, it's amazing. The only bad thing is, if you go inside at lunchtime, the water is hot. Yes, it is. It will be hot for a little bit and then it will get cold. But otherwise, this is just one of the my most favorite things here. I think you were, it was your first time you split a bamboo or something. Yes, it was the first time I was splitting a bamboo. Well, and I was so proud because it was kind of like easy. But, but then at the end we also needed to surface burn it. Yes. And you experienced the bugs. A lot of bugs were inside and you could just saw them like crawling outside, but there are still so many inside. Yeah, so even, even though you burn it like one time, you needed to burn it again, focused on the areas where the bugs were. Mm. And I think it's good just to focus. When you see the bugs, just do the surface burn with the, with the blowtorch. It's, okay. it's quite effective. Yeah. And the design is just lovely, especially under the tree. You can eat longans while you shower in the longan season. The leaves were, are not so good anymore. It's like similar to this open hut but the leaves underneath were not so good so we applied some rice straw mm -hmm. to the small hut and this rice straw comes from the rice harvest and can you tell us a bit about the the process of <laughs> a banana of picking the banana those bananas are quite ripe they are like good for dehydration or dehydrating or for freezing to dry them. Yeah. No, it will not dehydrate you. No, it will not dehydrate me. Okay. I, 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 or maybe I a little uh, bit. Maybe yes. Maybe those, yes. Those those are more my style now. These are more your style. Yes. So I mean, you can just eat the style you want. I mean, I still like them because they are like they are, the texture is just amazing. So if you if you don't know apple bananas, apple bananas, right? Mm -hmm. And we have like the Cavendish Cavendish bananas in Europe. This is the way to go. Apple banana, you like? I love it. You like apple bananas apple compared bananas to Apple bananas with papaya, some sprouts, oats, flax seeds, and some peanuts. Breakfast to go. And what about the uh, smoothies with apple banana? It's very sweet. So <laughs> only put two, two bananas inside, it's enough. <laughs> Besides you like sweets, then go for it. Um, on the other field, and then we were, able, we were allowed to, to take everything. And that was the first step to kind of like get it with one broken, little bit broken car. Difficult. It was not a car. It was a cart. It's yes. like a, like a, something you push. So we took it like on a, like a pushable cart. Very sweet. Very sweet. But it's still good. Yeah. But we we, we got the 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 rice straw on carts back to here. Yeah. And then I learned um, how to kind of like make a roof out of those, which was really interesting because they. It's actually quite simple. 
You just uh, use some. What was it? Was it straw? The wire? Uh, no, the 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 for tying yes. they use uh, thin bamboo ah, pieces. Thin, thin bamboo pieces. Okay. That you soak and then you can use it like um, for tying stuff. Yeah. So we were just burning like uh, a, a bamboo, like a, a half one or a quarter one. Yeah, surface so, burning it. Yes, and then we were putting like the the rice husk on it, like make it like really really tight and close. It's not rice husk, it's rice straw. Rice straw, right? <laughs> and then we were just closing it with the with the bamboo, and then we had our roof already. Then we made like eight pieces out of those, and finish. I think it looks amazing. We harvested a lot of bamboo. I used uh, this guy. Which is not there, but still, nice harvesting bamboo is so much fun because you can just go with the knife and get like you get all your anger outside and just have fun, yeah, with all the ants which will drop on your head and stuff like this. But otherwise, I think harvesting bamboos in the morning is like the best thing you can do because afterwards you will get a smoothie. Yes, <laughs> it's nice. And then we have a lot of bamboo laying around which is not so good when the rainy season kicks in so fabian built this nice rack for us where we can store the bamboo we just surface burned it you you spent uh, quite some time on this you had like uh, was a uh, how was that experience to build this almost by yourself it was fun because it's like something really long and when you have first like just one like this piece, the outer piece, and then you think, okay, how can it even hold? And then you kind of kind of connect the first long ones together. It's still like really shaky, but still coming. And then after we were putting like those inside, then it was like you can walk on it. It was really nice. Hmm. Otherwise, I had some problems with the screws because they were running out. So Greg needs to buy some. <laughs> And it's always easier to work together. You know, I, I learned something very important. If someone screws inside and uh, if someone, someone drills inside the other one screws, it's so much more easier. Yes, so teamwork. That's my message for you guys. Teamwork. What do you think about harvesting uh, papaya? If you harvest papaya on a small tree, it's not so much fun. But if you harvest papaya on a, like a huge tree, it's so much fun. Why? Because you can just pee in your pants. Now, because the first time we did it was with Mato, and we said, okay, one's gonna hold the bucket, one's gonna do the stick, and kind of like lets the papaya fall down, and one's gonna wanna catch it. Just said, okay, let's just do it. And then the papaya was just dropping, dropping. Uh, so Greg was picking the papaya, the papaya was dropping down on the over the bucket. The bucket just, the papaya just fell in Mato's hand, and then we did like our favorite dance. It goes like. That was the first papaya hunt. That was good. On the big mother tree. You've been here for three weeks and three three, three days now. So it's uh, been uh, some nights and you experienced the uh, new year. Horrible, don't come to new year because they sing for like seven days karaoke. So, but not only at night, it was in the morning till 12 o'clock at night. I hated it. So next time I will come here, I will not be there. So you can go there. There's some po something I really didn't like. Mm. This was horrible. Yes. And uh, what do you think about the smoke season, like beginning and, and the burning and stuff? Burning sucks. It really sucks. It just smells horrible. I mean, now we can see the mountains, but there was like, I think like one week where we couldn't kind of like see the mountains at all. So then we knew, okay, there's like a lot of burning going on. And yeah, it's just horrible for nature. Yeah, and, and then we were lucky that the rain kicked in, yeah. yeah, in the north, and it affected our area, so we have like a bit better air. But yeah, it's sad. But it's not so bad. I mean, uh, the, the, I think there are like worse places like this. Ah, night is beautiful. If there's no karaoke music, music, I mean, it's not that bad. But I love the nights because. If you have to pee at night, you go outside <laughs> and then you see like the stars everywhere. Besides now, now we have like almost full moon. And so bright. So bright, yes. You can go out uh, and you think like it's daytime. Yeah, I, I was thinking, who, was, who forgot to shut up the light? It's amazing. I mean, it's, 
it's beautiful. It's it's quiet. You hear you hear like the crickets and the dogs, but otherwise you are like 24 hours outside in you know in the fresh air, nature. It's beautiful. So what about the the cool nights? I mean, it's like getting down to like 12, 13 degrees, and we sometimes actually have eight degrees or something. Um, but it was before you came. So you had like down to I think 12 degrees, 14 degrees. I think we had 14 degrees and maybe 12 this morning. Mm, I don't care because I like it. It was not so cold for me. Yes, that's everything I can say. <laughs> but you have like blankets enough? I in, have, yeah, in, I have in the... totally enough. But I can just sleep with my underwear because it's still warm inside and I like it a little bit. I like my room a little bit cool. Mm. So, so you don't sleep with like uh, nope with uh, with skiing underwear nope nothing oh, okay yes so you've also been eating for these uh, three weeks and three days I was fasting we grow some different things like cassava you try to harvest cassava and you experience the Mexican spinach mm. and uh, papaya salad pakadam from uh, from auntie can you tell a bit about like the food experience. Yeah. I freaking love the food because it's very I like simple food and we always made like very simple food when Greg and I was cooking <laughs> so just steam some vegetables steam some pumpkin and eat wrap everything in a pakadam leaf maybe with some spicy sauce and I don't need anything more mm. besides you know when leg is cooking make like beautiful curries or something like this is or, or a big soup it's very nice so the food is delicious you will not get hungry to bed so we have to eat Pumpkin curries and steamed pumpkins. The yes, pumpkins. every day. What about the pumpkins? The pumpkins are like creamy, sweet, and just delicious. Yes. Cool. Papaya salads. So how do you? How, do, how many spoons? <laughs> how many spoons? Maybe I t maybe I take a, a half a half tablespoon of soy sauce. Yes, and then a lot of lime. How how, how do how do you get the papaya? I go to the tree and harvest it. <laughs> That's what I like about this place. If you need herbs, especially herbs, they have a lot of herbs and like fruits. You don't need to buy any fruits. Besides you, you are curious and want to try something new. Otherwise, you have like the this cassava. Really nice. I want to eat it tomorrow again. Okay. Then the Mexican spinach, a, lemon, a lot of lemongrass, which we don't get like in Europe, in Austria, very difficult. Uh, otherwise, chilies you can just harvest. Orange limes. Orange limes, yes. And like, that's how I like to eat my food. Just pick it from the garden fresh and you know where it comes from. We also visited an uh, uh, organic place nearby, like yes. organic gardens. What do you think about those oh. in we, Banklang? We, we got a lot of salads and a lot of eggplants. But too they much. They charge, charged us a lot, right? Yes, they charged us probably for a full big bag of salad one euro so we had a lot to eat but the place is very beautiful people are very nice but they can go up with the price definitely October 2021 I will be finished with school and then I can escape the winter and I will come back to this place because I want to build my own bamboo hut or buy my bamboo hut and then kind of like upgrade it that's what I want to do because I like this place I like to be outside the whole time like to be in nature, especially you know, with people who have like the same thinking like I have, and kind of like go away from all the society stuff because you don't hear anything about news, no bad things. It's just very. I mean, I love it. Simple life. That's what I like. I don't need all this stuff. Cool. Thank you very much, Fabian, for uh, dropping by for and volunteering and helping us out. It was uh, a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Kopf und Krab.